Today's adventure takes me into East Ayrshire, in Scotland, where a bloody battle was fought in 1307 between the Scots, led by Robert the Bruce, against the English, with Bruce taking victory. A very historic site and very unusual, as this is a volcanic plug. Links to the Iron Age settlements and William Wallace are also known. The statue silhouette of William Wallace, called the Spirit of Scotland, stands five metres high and was designed by a local artist, Richard Price. What an absolute beautiful morning. This is absolutely gorgeous this morning. So, today is just a little wander and today I'm going to be climbing a little hill. Yeah. Hello folks and welcome back to another little video. So today I'm going to show you you don't need to climb a mountain to get the best views. So welcome to Loudon Hill.
and stop for just a little breather. And taking some of these views. So yeah, the, the whole purpose of this little walk today was just to show you that you don't have to climb a mountain to get the best views. So you don't have to drive far either. I'll put a, a link in below in the description where Loudon Hill is and if you fancy coming here. Hopefully you do. Absolutely beautiful. You can see for miles here. And I'm not even at the top. Anyway. The wee break's over. Not far to the top. There are two paths to climb Loudon Hill, the east and the west. I took the east side and as you can see it's pretty boggy and wet with some steep pits in places. It can be busy with walkers but I do recommend that if you are looking for a little walk and to get some great views, this is by far a great little hill to climb. Leaving the tree line and coming into the open ground near the top, you're met with some impressive views. Wow. The vast flat low-lying landscape of East Ayrshire that surrounds Loudon Hill is very rewarding at the top, and it's here that Robert the Bruce had planned the battle in detail rather well, as he'd been defeated and humiliated a year earlier by the Earl of Pembroke and wanted revenge on him. Some 3,000 English soldiers were mighty compared to Bruce's 600 Scots, but the Scots and Bruce dug in and using the landscape to their advantage, it paid off as the English had to charge and fight uphill. Bruce had many men in reserve and was a battle that he needed to win. The English were finally defeated in the battle and fled for their lives. William Wallace also fought and won a battle here against the English a few years earlier in 1297. Oh, here we go. This is absolutely fantastic. What a view. This is just gorgeous. So, that's me at the, the top. It's a bit of a, a muddy climb, as you've seen. And it doesn't take very long, but depending on your fitness, there's no rush to get up here. But, I'm just going to get something to eat and a coffee.
so that's me fed and watered and the sun's still up and shining it's a wee bit blustery the drone's done fine actually uh, flying about there getting some good footage it's cool and it's a great little bit I hope you really want to come up here because it's actually fantastic it's got quite a big car park there for what, 20 cars possibly so yeah a good a good little um a good little outing for a couple hours if you're allotting something to do so geographically where we are we are east of Kilmarnock we're south of Glasgow as well so we're in that sort of neck of the woods I'll put a little description and I'll put a little map up as well so you know roughly where we are it's not a heavy climb it's not a big climb there is some steep bits in it but I think they're manageable um, I can only say wear appropriate footwear I have seen some people coming up with trainers and um, little boots and things like that so kind of not ideal but maybe on a, a good warm sunny dry day in the summertime yes but um, at this moment in time pair of decent walking boots um, it's a great little bit and it's not very high but the views you've just seen are just absolutely fantastic so as I said at the start this video is all about showing you views that you don't have to climb a mountain to get to see absolutely fantastic I could, you could sit up here for hours there's so much to see bring a pair of binoculars if you're one of the folk that really like to get a good view of stuff but yeah actually it's a great little bit probably took me about 40 minutes to climb but that was me filming on and off and the odd stop here and there so half an hour yeah 40 minutes a decent nice relaxed climb So, I'm just going to pack up my wee stuff, bits and pieces, head back down to the car, and that's me done. But anyway, just like to say thanks for watching the video, and hopefully you want to subscribe if you want to see more, and push a like button if you fancy. But anyway, cheers for now. See you again in the next adventure. Caught behind the Venetian blinds Had to reach for the city lines and This ain't where I belong Ain't looking me in my eyes Okay folks, that's me back in the car Just wanted to say again, thank you very much for watching the video Sorry and apologies for not filming on the way down because my hands were completely full with this. Absolutely no need for it. Um, it's an app. Beautiful, beautiful play that you can see here and still people leave rubbish lying at their feet. And the worst of it is, this is somebody's stick. They were carrying it anyway, so why just throw it away? I, I, I don't get it. Anyway, as a bonus for me picking this up, I'm just going to go back down and I'm going to get the drone back up and give you some bonus footage. So, there we go. It's the least I can do. I'm just going to put this in the bin and go and fly this drone for you. So, again, thanks very much for watching the video. See you in the next one. Cheers for now. What you give, you get to keep. So long, farewell, bye-bye. Set the toast for those lost old eyes